What's going on guys? Uh, so for today's shave, we actually had two equal votes. It was two and two. So um, I went ahead and went with uh, Jerry Stark's Tropical Breeze uh, Bay Rum. And then the other <laughs> two vote was Katie's Bubbles. So we're going to use the Katie's Bubble Splash Barney Get Bay, um, which is the soap back here. So that's what we'll do. I'll try to appease everyone. Uh, for the next shave, vote down below. Um, you have to choose from Hasslinger. Uh, I just keep it in this bowl to lather, but Hasslinger. I have Williams mug. And one I haven't used, I don't think, in quite some time. We'll go with tobacco. So that's my tobacco. And I keep that in a mug too, or a little bowl. So vote on those three. All you have to do is comment down below real quick. You can pause the video now, comment down below, continue to watch. All right, so we'll go ahead and start lathering up. Uh, I'll be using my, my Maggard brush. I've already started lathering up a little bit of the soap just to kind of cut down a little bit of time. Hope everyone is doing well, is safe. Um, and has been having good shaves. So, I'm going to wet the face a little bit. If you can see, I look a little raggedy. I haven't shaved in a little while. <laughs> it's been, I don't know, today's like the second full day. So, all right. But yeah, I hope everyone has been having a good week. Um... Like I said, I hope you're all happy and healthy and whatnot. So, yeah, so Jerry's soaps and what I've used, the three that I've used, they lather very easy. They uh, produce a nice lather. Again, could you make like a super voluminous lather with this? Yeah, you can. I don't, uh, again, because... I'm going to use a straight razor this shave. Um, and that was something else Josh had, had mentioned uh, to me. He wanted to see me do more DE shaves. Well, I think I'm going to kind of like, for every one straight razor shave, do one DE shave. And the reason, honestly, at this point in time, is the goatee. It's hard to line up a goatee and get like a, a consistent edge to my goatee without using a straight. Again, can it be done? I'm sure, yeah. Um, but how, how I do it, it's much easier just with a straight razor because I can just bring the edge right there and stop it. Um, with a DE, it's, it's a bit, for me, a pain. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. We're already getting a very nice lather. Um, not sure why Jerry doesn't sell to, you know, third parties like Maggards or Whoever. Very nice scent. Um, this is a more like bright. It's definitely a, a brighter Bay Rum. And it says Island Oils with Bay Rum and Coconut Scent. So that's probably why you have the coconut, which is a little fresh. It's not typical of Bay Rums. You know, typically it's like heavy spice, clove, that type of stuff. But this scent is actually not the, the typical Bay Rum. I still get, I mean, I can still, it's definitely still considered a Bay Rum scent. It's just not, not as heavy on the clove and uh, all spice as most are. And since I haven't shaved in a, couple of days. It's going to be a little difficult to see on this first pass where I need to go for the line. So we're going to play it a little, uh, little safe on the first pass. Yeah. So I donated, um, and the amount doesn't matter because it's like, I don't know, I just feel like you sound like an ass if you're like, oh, I donated X amount. And it's like, ooh, you know. But um, no, I mean, I donated to the Movember stuff, uh, Movember's um, awareness on the actual Movember website. So I asked for some recommendations. <laughs> Langofile was the only one to give me one, and that was to his fund. So, <laughs> so 
<laughs> so it really wasn't. I'm gonna stop laughing so I could see what I'm doing. It really wasn't too a uh, a fun for uh, men's health awareness, but um, yeah. Oh yeah, we just knocked that out of the park. Get out of here, growth. Shave my burns real quick. I'll we'll start calling these my burns. Shave the burns. Line up the burns so I can uh, put the glasses back on and see what the heck I'm doing. Haven't worn contacts in so long now. It's been pff, a couple months. No particular reason, just This is, I believe, a JNAT edge. It's having absolutely no problem with slicing the hair and bumps, apparently. So that's good. Also, this last shave with the with the DE, the feather blade I used, that was the second use. And normally, and I've said this in past videos, normally I'm able to get like a solid two, possibly even three shaves on a DE before it starts tugging. Or not on a DE, but on a feather before it starts tugging. But man. It was tugging during the shave, right? It was the second use of the blade. Um, it was tugging during the shave. And then also, like, that's why I haven't shaved in a while is because I had, look at this, this lather's nice. Like I said, this definitely lather's very easy and it's a good lather. Uh, protective and slick and uh, cushiony lather. Um, I started getting some, uh, like, not razor bumps, but like razor burn. Like, I don't know. I guess it's all the same, but yeah, just like little red bumps on my neck everywhere. Like the, the following day, the following morning I woke up and looked and I was like, what the hell is all this? I never get that with, uh, <laughs> with straights. So I've always said, you know, <clears throat> straight razors are, I think undeniably more comfortable. And if you've never used a straight, I understand, like, you don't understand what I'm saying. I understand you don't understand. I, like, I get that. But once you, once you use a straight and, you know, you just have that single blade going across your face. Um, and DEs are like that too. But you see, you seem to do a lot more buffering or buffing with a DE as opposed to a straight. Um, and then DEs are just way too damn sharp, in my opinion. Like, way too sharp. Um, and so sometimes that's why I kind of like steer away from the feathers and the kais because for me and my skin, the, the, like Vosh gods and, and I said it wrong probably, but you know, those types of, uh, of razors actually work better for me, you know, Vosh God. Um, I do like personas and I do like uh, the Astros as well. So, so yeah, I'll, I'll trickle DEs in just to appease people, um, Josh in particular. <laughs> but but no, I mean I, I like my DEs. There's no there's no question about that. I do like my DEs. It's just I don't know. I think using straights for a 
I think I've used straight stick exclusively for a couple months now. And I, I think my skin is just getting used to the straight now. And so the ease are, are kind of like, like you can see down here, this little irritation. I've had that since the night after I shaved with the DE. I don't get that with the straight razor. I just don't. Unless I cut myself, of course. But look, look here. You can see the irritation. <laughs> and it's much better now. Like it's not extremely red and it's not even hurting now, but it was, it was red. It was freaking hurting. And yeah, you could say, well, it was the blade, you know, but I don't know. I don't have that problem with straights ever. Oh, this is the gold dollar uh, 208, GD 208. I don't know if I said that or not at the beginning of the video. Well, we went from looking like a bum to uh, lather in my hair. I had lather in my hair or something, a piece of fuzz or something. Ooh. Looking like a bum to looking like less of a bum. Need to get my hair cut. That's for sure. I have a lot of uh, a lot of grays coming through. I'm not sure if you guys could see, um, but like up here on both sides. So I don't know if I'll have wings. Um, I don't know how many of you will know Polly from The Sopranos. If you've watched The Sopranos, you'll know who I'm talking about Polly with the wings. Uh, so hopefully I don't get that. That would be crazy. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, Polly is a, I don't know, just a character in The Sopranos, and he has these uh, gray hairs along the side. But yeah, the soap is uh, nice. Like I said, I don't know. I mean, you have to message Jerry directly to buy it. Um, it's either 15 or 16 per tub. Although, I think if you were to buy three, I don't remember if it was 15 or 16. It might have been even 14. I don't remember. But um, I think if you were to buy three soaps from him, he was giving a discount. Um, which is what I did. So... Yeah, I still have a bump there from that knee shame I could feel. If you would have told me, like, six months ago, that I would be using a straight more than a DE, I would have been like, nah, get out of here. Nope, no way. But it's absolutely what's happening. Very nice shave, and you can see where I hit that bump. <laughs> I was rolling over it with the straight a little bit it'll clear up probably in the next day or two it'll clear up but until then and you know you have you definitely have a residual slickness jerry soaps so there's really no no issue with me kind of going back over without having visible lather um some soaps i've tried that with it's it's pretty scary 
like you know the, the straight will skip on your skin you're like oh, oh did I just cut myself no but I've been close the closest I've been actually to like really doing damage I think I actually showed I don't remember if I uploaded the video, but it was a big gash that I had up here. I don't know if I uploaded that video or not. I don't think I did. Because I started... I started cursing. I started saying some not nice things. And, um... Well, I think most of us would see that as acceptable. <laughs> um, I didn't want to upload it. Good. I feel very nice about this shave. Smooth here. Completely smooth here. Um, next smooth, unless like uh, against the growth, it's not, but I can't really get a DE and shave against my growth like that. That's a very bad idea. So we'll call it like that. Uh, I'm going to go with a little bit of Thayer's. Uh, what do I have? Thayer's. Let's go with Thayer's. Well, I have both bottles here. They're just on opposite sides. I'll mix them up in my hand and we'll see what we get. I didn't really do anything because I just looked at both of them again. Let's go with Rose Petal. Let's shake it up. You know, I've been told this is like an astringent and whatnot. And I guess it is, which Hazel is considered an astringent, but do I, see a, do I see a benefit with this when I use it and when I don't? For my skin, I don't. When I use Witch Hazel, and the only one I've used is, is theirs. So, um, I, I don't see an improvement. I don't. So, your mileage may vary, but for me, like I said, no improvement. All right, Katie's Bubbles Barnegat Bay for the Bay Rum scent. Um, this doesn't necessarily pair like one to one with Jerry Stark's uh, Tropical Breeze since this has coconut and it's a bit of a I would say it's like a sweet bay rum. It's a bright sweet bay rum. That's what I would say. I think I think that description fits this soap perfectly. It's even light. It's like a light, airy, bright, sweet bay rum. And this is more of like <laughs> clove, allspice forward. This is a very nice scent. This is probably, out of all of the bay rums that I have, um, splashes included, because I have some, I have some splash bay rums as well from Pinot Clubman and, and such. This is probably my favorite scent of bay rum that I have. And I have some really good ones. So. That's it, guys. That's the shave. Mm. You know what? Let's get another shot. Second shot of this stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next shave.